I'm up, lay it down just like Matt Amari. Wrestling little half ups, gonna make it sorry. Feeling like the rock, cause I'm driving the Ferraris. And we coming every week, and it's feeling like a party. Mula Rick Flair, huh? Showing out like Bianca Belair, huh? Best podcast, fuck shit in the air, huh? From the rings, and we win it, don't care, huh? No cap. Throw them up, lay it down just like Matt Amari. Wrestling little half ups, gonna make it sorry. Feeling like the rock, cause I'm driving the Ferraris. And we coming every week, and it's feeling like a party. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Wrestling Hap Up Podcast. I'm your host, Mari Forth, and with me, as always, my co-host, Mr. Matt Scott. Matt, how are you? Just bl- blessed and highly favored, Mari, as are <laughs> all, as always. Uh, happy to be here. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing good. We're here a little bit earlier this week. Don't tell we the some- people. We gotta I tell guess them. You should tell them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're doing something a little different. We're recording early. We're we're not gonna be watching SmackDown, so we're gonna give you something different. And we're joined by a wonderful guest. Yes. Oh, thank you for asking. Uh-huh. Making her way to the podcast, serving Foxy realness and Black Girl Magic. She's the Divas Drag Race season three winner, the Orlando Drag Race Live season seven Miss Congeniality, and she's been your reigning defending divas champ for uh six years and counting at this point please welcome the one the only victoria Uh, mother up and cage (laughs) i love it beautiful as always thank you (laughs) <laughs> no problem. Let's wait till he passes out and comes back like to us. Lungs. <laughs> Which did you hear um Natalia singing during the tag team match? It's like, come on, guys. Okay, that's what it was. I was like, what is I was like, okay, you Natalia- better feel it. She's a hoot. Ooh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Still yes. breathing. There we go. We are so glad to have you here today, Victoria. Um, it, it it's gonna get dark. Uh, I, I it's gonna be dark first. We got dark news to talk about, you oh know. But then it's gonna get, but then it's gonna get happy. So you know, it's okay. That's it's all we good. need. It's not we're glad we had good, we have good company here too for it. So, mm-hmm. uh, we're back. We haven't um talked since our recap of the Royal Rumble. And so, because we were just doing our reactions to the Royal Rumble, we didn't get to talk about the news that dropped about a week ago that is still unfurling today. Um, The news about Vince McMahon and the lawsuit that was filed against him by uh, one of his sexual assault victims, uh, sex trafficking victims, sexual coercion victims. I mean, the the list runs the gamut. Um, All of it. All of it. Uh, and not only him, but we, we talked about it, what, back in 2022, when it first happened, I believe the summer of 2022. Mm -hmm. And now it's an actual lawsuit. Now John Laurinaitis is on the lawsuit and WWE is on the lawsuit. I actually read like most of the 61 page, um, public doc, uh, document. It was very hard to read. Mm -hmm. I mean... Very, very hard to read. Some despicable stuff in there, like just disgusting. And yeah. but um, it it really felt like it really felt like how like the the Cassie and Diddy thing that happened like not too like a few months ago and stuff like that. Like it was so revealing, and it's like you, you don't want to read stuff like that, but it's like the victim wants their story out there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I, I wanted to read it and read it objectively and not get my new second hand from different sources and differently different wrestling journalists yeah. and stuff like that. Um, but it's some really despicable stuff. And uh, just today they announced that a federal uh, federal agents are going over some evidence and uh, federal charges might be brought up against Vince McMahon as well so 
still a developing story. He he yeah. stepped down. He stepped down as the CEO of the TKO board, which again, I can't even remember if we talked about it once the sale happened. We were like, why did they bring him back? Like, mm-hmm. well, we know why he brought him back. He facilitated the sale and he used it as leverage to get power back to be on the on the board. It was like it came together. Um uh Victoria, yeah. any I this is dark, but any any thoughts on this? Um to be completely honest, this news does not surprise me in the slightest. Right. Um, just because like we've heard stories about Vince McMahon before. Decades. For decades. If you think about it, like this guy's billionaire, like old mm-hmm. man, <laughs> like mm-hmm. out of touch, you know, so definitely doesn't surprise me, but definitely disturbs me. You know? Yes, exactly. Um, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'll um, I'll say it is like, well, one like it is so dark because we, in like the joking, oh, that's Miss Vince McMahon way. It's like we've seen the character presented in a certain way that right. people have really laughed at or been like, oh, Vince is gross, but not in this way to this level. And um, I'll say like, other than I, I definitely read like the overview of the report and like looked, I was looking at different parts of just what was detailed because I do think it is important to, uh, or at least I should say personally, I feel like it's important to like, Un, like grasp the reality of what was going on um and also that it will continue like there, the story will continue mm-hmm. to unfold and there's a lot more that's coming out about it i believe it it had to be yeah it was before this news even came out like for whatever reason i found on audible i found this like free if anyone wants to check it out this free um, series. I don't know if it was produced as a podcast series or a, a, an audio book, but it's about Ashley Massaro and called uh, Ashley mm-hmm. versus WWE, the story of Russell yeah. Ashley Massaro. I believe yeah. I actually just finished it before this news with Vince came out and it was talking about how like there's a there's a bunch of stuff that that happened to her and essentially he was looking to bury that in regard to like Ashley's visit to a tribute with the troops. And um, it's just dark too. But again, like everything you, I heard there, which was covered by a phenomenal journalist, Isabel Thompson was just so believable. And it made so much sense based on everything we know about Vince um, and the, his inner circle and the people around him, Mm -hmm. especially after the story that came out in 2022 and everything that came out in 2022, really, because there was a lot there. And then Mari, somebody tweeted us with the Behind the Bastards six-part podcast series mm-hmm. on Vince McMahon um, called Vince McMahon History's Greatest Monster, uh, probably about a week ago. And I listened to all six parts. Wow. Yeah, I look, committed. Uh, but I should be committed to some sort of um, institution after spending time with that. Because it didn't even include, like, anything from that really like from 2022 onward and all of that um but it was fascinating because it's it there was a lot that i didn't even like really realize or a handful of things i didn't Mm -hmm. realize but then things that came up like there was the like the quote unquote like ring boy scandal there was chatterton and that was talked about there was obviously the steroids and like everything around that that vince did Mm -hmm. and so much sketchiness in so many ways that Vince and his people have di- dodged like any accountability. So it's about damn time. But what I want to say is I think I'm like really, for me, I'm like really thinking about the women, especially yeah. women who are like the face of so much of the company. Like I saw so much being posted by Maria Canellis who was mm-hmm. mentioned a lot in the Ashley Massaro story because apparently she tried to help Ashley out a lot in that case and WWE just shut that down. So mm. Maria's been tweeting about how, oh, we've tried to speak up and come forward and they've called us crazy and this and that. Difficult to work with, right? Um, and then, you know, the Bella twins who are, 
Um, I don't know how they choose to identify the relationship. Yeah. With Steph yeah. And daughters, I would say of uh -huh. John Laronidas also came out with the statement and just seeing the ways that people respond to them, to it. Yeah. respond to them, like as if they're connected. I was as like, if they did it. These people Ugh. are suffering. These people are suffering yeah. so much. And um, I'm just, my heart is with all of the women who have been involved in that company on so many levels. Mm -hmm. um, and I just like hope that there's justice for them and for absolutely survivors on so many levels. Um, yeah. And this story will continue to develop and I hope people will continue to speak out. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I hope like at this point, it's like, I, I, I want them to feel as comfortable in what they feel is justice as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. who knows with the legal system we have, what, Right. <laughs> it's going to transpire. And I was just thinking, I, I was like, I don't know if I want to put this on Twitter, but like, just think if a, a former, a certain former president gets reelected and Vince gets convicted, guess what? He's getting pardoned. So uh. yeah, yeah, that's, that's uh, Vince's wife's homeboy. So yeah, Vince's Vince's homeboy. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, if you think it, about it, it like it all of the elite, all of these people, they're they're all connected. You mm -hmm. know, they have mm -hmm. their secret hangouts and their whatnot. Like, and what we know probably doesn't even scratch the surface of 100%. what actually goes on, especially like in a global like company like mm -hmm. yeah, you know what I mean, like think about mm. all the talent that they've had like in the past who have been like sworn to secrecy can't speak out about any of their issues mm -hmm. mm. so. scary scary to think yeah. of tip of the yeah. iceberg type stuff <sighs> yeah so more on this i'm like so mad we are still talking about this creepy old man like <sighs> yeah and, and you know what like not to um i mean like no matter what it would, whether or not we knew about it, any of any of it, I don't even just mean like this specific instance, but like whether or not we knew about any of the abusive predatory things that have happened. Um, I guess that one day, I hope that one day we look back and we're like, you know what? We're glad that it got, that it was out there and that people mm -hmm. knew and that it wasn't buried because they've been burying this, this for so like, Again, exactly. so many things for so long, and I'm just glad that people are aware and talking about it, and some people are trashing how they're talking about it, but you know what? Like, that obviously is going to happen, um, but it's good that people are talking yeah. about it and aware, so um, exactly. that's like trying to kind of like take a solace in a little bit of this situation that like, okay, like hopefully people keep talking about it and there's more visibility for what's going on. Exactly. Um, moving on to something way, way, way less dark. Oh, no. um, <laughs> just, we, I just want, we want to shout out our heroes rock, uh, the uh, yeah. production company um, by uh, big E Andreas Hale and so many others who um, were fundraising to get their, uh, their like, what do you, how do you describe them, Matt? Like it's their, their, their small, like bite-sized cartoons about our heroes, black heroes um, for kids. And they just dropped uh, the Bridges um, episode. It's their first uh, short, short animated series. It's uh, uh, nominated for an NAACP image award. And it's oh, about Ruby. yeah, it's about Ruby Bridges. And I I made my son watch it, my, my four year old watch it, and oh. you know we had we had a lot of fun watching it. It was it was thirteen minutes. Um, Rhapsody actually writes the song as well for uh, uh, Ruby Bridges. And I think performs it, and it it it's ama it's amazing. It's an amazing short story. I think this is how you get kids to learn about like culture especially our culture it's black culture um focusing on black black heroes that you know actively right now some states are trying to bar kids from learning so um 
Yeah, exactly. So shout out to to Biggie and everyone yeah. at, at our Heroes Rock for yeah you know, the important stuff. And it's been a long time coming. Like I remember mm-hmm. seeing the GoFundMe come out. I just looked at their um, their Twitter page, and it looks like that launched like three years ago. So maybe mm-hmm. the GoFundMe came out around then, or definitely in the last two years. And they had the little trailer video. And it did cross my mind as we've been talking about Big E. I was like, I wonder what happened with that. Um, mm-hmm. But it's so cool that it's out there into the world because there are so many projects that people start that don't like get off the ground for whatever reason. So amazing. You know, if mm-hmm. Big e, we were we were talking about Big E in the Royal Rumble, yeah. Mari, and I'm just like so glad that um we could he could put out this positivity and important message into the world. And I'm excited to properly watch the ep- the Bridges episode. Um, because like I saw a little bit of it, like a minute, but I need to take the other 11 minutes of it or so. Victoria, did you get a chance to see it or uh, no, not yet? Not yet, unfortunately, but I definitely want to and I plan to. So (laughs) definitely want to support. Yeah, Yeah. because this is uh, it's so great and it's perfect. It's Black History Month. It is Black History Month here on Wrestling and Hop Up. We are so excited. So Uh, all right, so let's get into a little bit of housekeeping, and then we'll get to the, the real fun stuff. So if you haven't already, go subscribe to our podcast feed by going to robhaswebsite.com slash wrestling feed. There you can um, subscribe to us on any platform, anywhere you listen to your podcast. Hopefully you're also like, this is the one, people. Like, this is the one. This is the one where I say, if you're listening now, Stop what you're doing and go to the Rob Has a Podcast YouTube page, search Wrestling Wrap Up, because this is where you want to see our beautiful faces, especially Victoria's. But also, we're going to be doing something really fun <laughs> near the end, and you're going to want to see it. It's a, it's going to be a visual podcast today, guys. So, um, so stop what you're doing. Go to the YouTube page, of course, and then you can always follow us on uh, Twitter at Wrestling Wrap Up on Twitter. Um, so let's get into the highlights of the week. Like I said, it's fr- it's Friday. We're recording on a Friday. So because of that, we are only going to talk about the, the basically major thing that happened on Raw. And then we're going to get into something really fun. Um, so, man, did I, 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 didn't, I don't feel like I called it, but I was like, oh. that Cody booking didn't feel right to me. So... What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> Keep I going conspiracy if you, <laughs> Put your tinfoil hat on. Let's go. If you didn't listen to our Royal Rumble uh, reactions podcast, I said I was shocked. I was shocked that Cody won. I um I was happy, but I was shocked. I was like, the, the story of him winning didn't quite make sense to me because we had already seen the story just last year. Not the uh, story, like not the finishing the story, but like just the 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 short part of the story about him winning the rumble, I thought it would have been better for him not to win the rumble and still try and get to his path to, to, to the belts and come to find out that CM Punk, who was my winner pick, it came down to, it came down to to Cody and CM Punk. CM Punk was my choice to win. Okay. Uh, Yes. Yeah. I'm just saying. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we found out that he com- that he tore his tricep muscle and he tore it in the middle of the rumble not in the middle i should i said in the middle but during the rumble yeah. um one of our our listeners sent us like the moment that it happened like the moment that he was telling the ref shout out to you i'm sorry i, I didn't grab your name but thank you so much um it looked like when it happened it looked like there were still three people in the ring though um, was Gunter third? Was it was it Gunter the third person? So at some point, CM Punk tells the ref, Yeah, no, I can't. Like it's done. It's done <laughs> We're done though. So no. what are you insinuating that he was supposed to win? I am insinuating that he was supposed to win. I personally I think he was supposed to win. Victoria, I, can please. I get that? <laughs> I do not believe so, only because throughout the entire, like, 
build up. Live event, mm -hmm. they were mentioning how it has been so long since mm -hmm. before I was born that mm -hmm. like t like back to back winner back -to -back, is yeah. what they were saying. Like back to back winner, back to back winner. So it was there. Like I don't know. And yeah. I, I, I do think, so. think, though, it does ruin some, like, plans that they probably had long-term. Totally. Definitely. Um, but I don't know if if he was supposed to win the Rumble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... Okay, yeah, that's that's all... That's massive speculation. However, what happened Let me get on... My tin foil. Hold on, I'll be right... I'm just gonna go if get you don't my tin down. foil. <laughs> I know you don't believe. I know you don't believe me, and you. The only reason why you don't believe me is because you didn't want me. No, to I'll tell you why I don't believe you. But right, you can keep going. Didn't, tell me why dig, you didn't believe. Dig me. that. Dig that hole. Tell me. Dig tell me why hole. you didn't believe me. That hole. Let me break it down for you, Mari. Okay. So, okay. Imagine that the plan was for CM Punk to win. Mm -hmm. Do they really? Why would they have? Gra why would they have T-shirts ready? Oh for, my This God. is not the Super Bowl. It's they don't have like a bunch of shirts that they ship to go. No, they had the shirts ready on site for Cody Rhodes and for Bailey. They were wearing them by the end of the night. And they let did? me keep going here. Yes, they have the little freaking shirts, the little cute Cody American Nightmare graphic in the you think Bailey people in the people in the stadium. No, Bailey and um Bailey and Cody had there was a picture of them wearing the shirts. Oh. But yeah. let me keep going. So there's like all the graphic they do all the graphics they pull Just everything wonder. up like this is this reminds me of when brock lesnar beat undertaker at wrestlemania and people were like oh my gosh was it a mistake or not there was a little delay like no it was planned no, was baby it was plan. planned so i'm just saying cody this is this is my part now i'm gonna call out one person in particular and i don't i don't give a damn if he's listening i know he's not listening but I have to call out um, Swaggy C from Big Brother because he's out there tweeting, why are they doing this story again? This is such a waste. It's not the same story. Not it's anything. winning the Rumble a second yeah. time in a row. And one thing that I think that WWE is really good at now under Triple H is they don't mind if it's predictable. Like They don't mind mm. if they're setting up a story for you because they want – that story to pay off so right, like right. last year the winners cody and Rhea, we everyone knew bailey won everyone saw it coming but yeah. it's part of that story being built cody that was telegraphed to hell but we saw it coming and you know what i i no, just have a no, hard we didn't. Time you didn't you didn't say cody was your one well, no because yeah. i thought the rock was coming back mm -hmm. i didn't but so many people did but i guess my point is too the second thing is and I brought this up. It would be so disrespectful to give CM Punk the win. This man spits on WWE. He uh -huh. goes on Colt Cabana's podcast, drags them through the mud, and he shakes Triple H's hand once a week before Survivor Series. And then you give him the world. You can't do that. That's basically like crapping Why on not? everyone who. No, that's no. crapping on I everyone like who's WWE been there. Can pay it. They can pay yeah, him. But, what did it's he go and kiss everybody's feet? Like, did he kiss That's every single person? I don't no. think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can feel Maybe. frustrated, yeah, over a company that you've worked for who probably oh. didn't treat him right to begin with. Yeah, so I get it, but like, he's a draw, and oh, when 100%. He's a draw internationally and like everywhere, mm. WWE is gonna want you no matter what, they're gonna leave the door open for you. Exactly, yeah. money talks, yeah, yeah money talks I, louder than podcasts. But, but I, I can see why he, that you know, if he won, it would be a little mm. bit interesting, yeah. Right? Like, why? I, I think it would be an interesting dynamic of like. I can imagine people, the people who, because WWE has had their plans for the Rumble going a while out, like but even before Survivor Series, I'm sure they're doing that long term booking heading into WrestleMania. So if the plans would have changed, if they're like, let's give Punk this spot to win the Rumble, I just feel like people would have 
there would have been people who would have been a little upset backstage. I don't th- I don't think so. I think they actually did the one thing that we asked them to do every year. I think they set up for that for multiple possibilities for multiple. Oh, totally. Made. Totally. Yeah, I, uh, totally. I think they did. I think it would have been plausible if Cody won. We talked about it already. I think it would have been plausible if uh, CM Punk won. Hell, Drew had me thinking he might win for a second there. <laughs> oh, Gunter. I, I, for real, had people thinking uh, that he was gonna. Oh, was I agree. Win. I you agree. Know? I'm just thinking if I'm at my job and somebody comes in, if I've been at my job for years and somebody comes in tomorrow and then they get that recognition that I should have deserved, like mm-hmm. I wouldn't feel good about that. Right. And I don't know if Triple H would make that decision. Yeah, I think for once, thank God they didn't book themselves into a corner. So, that is true. Yeah. Well, yeah. thankfully. And, and you know what? Oh, well, your too. winner has an injury. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> and, and it's sad because I think I think he had a similar in like that similar injury when he was in AEW. He's had oh, more really? few injuries when he was in AEW. Uh-huh. Yeah, he had a couple of them. So yeah. it's like it's a bummer that he's hurt. Yeah, um that is true. That it is, is a real bummer that he is hurt. However, comma but on Raw, they did a really they good really job did. of piv- pivoting. I was watching live like, oh my god, I do not know who I want to face Seth now. <laughs> um, and because... Seth is hurt right now too, which is exactly, wild. Exactly, which is wild, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, but, like, it was, we all knew it was penciled in. We all knew CM Punk versus Seth was penciled mm-hmm. in for WrestleMania. We just didn't know how we were going to get there. And now that Sam Punk is like out, out, and Seth is just re- is recovering from a minimal in- injury and will sh- will be fully healed for WrestleMania. They Sam uh, Punk comes out and does this like heartfelt promo, a great promo. Mm-hmm. Drew McIntyre comes Nasty. out and gives the most. Uh, Play a hater of the year. Uh, that's what I saw everybody on Twitter call him. Uh, a promo. I was like, dog, this is how you get me introduced, uh, interested into Drew McIntyre because Drew McIntyre said, I prayed on your downfall. I was like, oh my god, think about it. I wished for your demise. Oh my god. God. And he said, and then I, he's like, now that you're hurt, I am going to take your spot. I am going to go to WrestleMania. I'm going to do what you can do. I was like, Jesus, Drew, this just happened. Like, let the man breathe. <laughs> it was good. No. That was probably one of my favorite Drew McIntyre promos he's ever. Killing it right now, and I love this new role for him. It's so oh. fresh. It's mm-hmm. like we haven't seen it in a while. Yes, you know? yes, oh I gosh. think he's. Full heel now. Like he's yeah, been playing. Heel. Yeah, he's been playing with it back and forth. We're like, where is this going? He's been mm-hmm. coming out and interrupting people's Royal Rumble promos for the past month. But this one did it. This one put it over the top. I think he's now like one of the top heels on the brand. And him attacking punk and 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 you know, effectively mm-hmm. putting him on the shelf kayfabe wise after after just eviscerating him i was like this is great this i love and i'm like oh my god do I want... yeah i was like do i want drew versus seth now i was like i don't know and you know, not... i mean exactly done in a you know nice way which i'm sure that it will be because those two already have like he like with yeah. each other like in you know story storyland um yep. yeah so like i think it could work they have different things that they could pull from mm-hmm. that they can mm-hmm. just use to fuel it. Yeah, I, I see it. Like, I think Drew is probably headed to Mania. And then do the moment know... I'm... Yeah, you, yeah. No, man. I mean, do we know when CM Punk is going to be back from his no, injury? No, no. Um, I think I had Googled it when it had happened. Like, yeah. Um, okay. Like, uh tricep injury recovery i think it's like a like a month long um oh yeah. my gosh what if he's back for mania too i'm not month i said i meant month oh. months uh, uh, um 
Yeah. Yeah. Eight to 12 weeks. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Fortunate. That is With right. surgical treatment. So mm -hmm. yeah, a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, but all that said, as soon as I'm thinking, okay, maybe Seth versus Drew, Cody comes out, celebrate his Rumble win, and Seth comes out. Mm -hmm. And then Seth delivers one of the greatest promos of the year so far. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening on this day? Because it is good. I mean, <laughs> I was sitting here like, do I want Cody to fade Seth? <laughs> It even happened because you know I had questions about that belt lineage. I was like, "Is he whose belt is that? Is but, that his daddy belt?" Like you're asking, <laughs> you're asking questions that you shouldn't be asking because I don't know mm -hmm. the answers. <laughs> I love this promo by Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins basically saying we're the two, and to do it babyface style. When honestly, they both of them had one of the greatest matches um, ever what in 2022 summer 2022 their hell in a cell match and to to face it i hate face versus face matches but even i was like oh my god i kind of like this he's like we're the workhorse champions we're the ones who are there every single day let's make roman's title irrelevant like roman is it's a show it's a showbiz title it's i was like oh my, oh my god, god. <laughs> like <laughs> i'm not gonna lie that was fire that was a fire promo um, now does it make sense in the grand scheme of things? I don't know. You know, a lot of the Roman the, the Roman lovers think it was, you know, Roman lovers. It, yeah, everybody, you know, the Roman Empire were like, whatever, Ro Roman's more relevant than both of them combined and stuff like that. Everybody has their place, you know. Right. Yes. And then, yeah. <laughs> so so like I, I just love this promo between the two of them. Honestly, I, I really did. Matt, what did you think about uh Seth coming out here and, and kind of begging Cody to to pick him? Well, like you said, it just widens the number of options that we have when mm -hmm. it comes to mania because it just adds that seed of doubt. Like when Cody won, he's pointing up at Roman. He knew where to find Roman yes, in the box, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. he, even after on the press conference, someone, one of the journalists brings up, so it seems pretty clear that you're going to be challenging Roman. And Cody's like, yeah, that's, that's, uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and he doesn't like say I'm challenging Roman, but he basically says I'm challenging Roman. And so I love the doubt that's put in here it is mm -hmm. all really interesting to consider what was planned and what wasn't planned exactly already yeah because this would have worked either like even if punk wasn't injured mm -hmm. um but wow i love it i love i just love not fully knowing what's going to happen i don't i'd be shocked though if cody didn't challenge roman mm -hmm. like what are we what i Sorry. am too I, I, yeah, Victoria, what did what did you think about this promo? Honestly, like I feel like Cody, it, it could go either way, right? And mm -hmm. so I think they're gonna play at it to try to see, but I would love to see all of them mix it up, mm -hmm. like a combination style, like <laughs> in uh -oh. some sort. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just something different, you know. And I feel like that's what they're opening the possibility for like something mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. a twist to happen but i don't know we'll just have to wait and see yes uh like we said we're recording during smackdown right now cody could be given his pick right as we speak that is uh, we, true. we don't know <laughs> i hate to date i hate to date our own podcast but Dated or not i think we ha talking about this promo i mean it it really was like so freaking good so i think they are doing again i think they're doing an amazing job writing the top of this card man it truly feels like they have so many dudes at the top of this card yeah who could be the man who could who could step yeah. in that ring at wrestlemania so yeah. i think that you makes know, for a, a good elimination chamber uh season no, you know screw that give us a six-pack challenge at mania i want to see roman versus drew versus punk versus seth 
versus the rock because <laughs> i lost count versus of, everybody yeah. whoever yeah. somebody i don't even know gunther put gunther in there gunther, yeah. like, right. i'm just like give it get, do whatever you want wwe i get very nervous because like how could you possibly fit all of this talent on one on well one card two nights like mm -hmm. i just don't even understand i can't wrap my head around it yeah. i'm really nervous i'm really nervous about who's gonna be like um slighted and in a spot where they're like wow they should have been in the main event but instead they were fighting la night you know or well no shade oh, but <laughs> I, I mean sure. <laughs> i'm just saying like i i do wonder um what the breakdown is going to be because i did see certain people tweeting their dream wrestlemania cards and they're all really interesting hmm. yeah yep so uh that's it for the highlights of the week <laughs> the, the all two of them if you oh, want to find them i guess we'll put them in i don't know if we'll put them in a playlist or whatever but that's no, it like no. we said we're doing something fun and different to, tonight so um Let's take take a quick break and we'll be back with something very fun. Okay. So again. What are we doing? This week. Fun. Amazing. Wonderful. Because we have the beautiful, glamorous Victoria Cage here. Wait, well, because... I thought you were referring to me. What am I? Chop no. liver? <laughs> Marry that. No, um, we decided to do our version of like a Royal Rumble fashion photo review. So Matt has gathered about 10 um, superstars looks mm -hmm. from the Royal Rumble. We will be talking about them and giving our grades on those looks. Yes. Um, yeah, it's just something fun. Um, and we will be back if this is in your cup of tea. We'll be back uh, next week to chop it up and and really dive deep into. Hopefully, we'll have some um, picks for the Rumble winners of where they're going. Um, hopefully, we'll have a lot of story movement and uh, we'll dive deep into that. Until then, today we're just gonna be silly. So throw up that first picture again. If you're listening to us, you should probably go to the YouTube because we're bringing up these pictures and yes. you want to see them. Rob has a website.com slash YouTube or just go to YouTube mm -hmm. this week or <laughs> something like that. We'll be there. But mm -hmm. let's get into it. Number one. What are we looking Oops. at? People? It's a picture of the one, the only Trinity, a.k.a. Naomi, coming um, out to the ring. In her glowing essence, I'm trying not to be biased because I know we have to rate it, but we're getting we gonna be biased. <laughs> we're getting we're getting we're getting like the fur coats feeling the glow. We're getting the mm -hmm. star the on star. the leotard. Mm -hmm. We are. I mean, there uh, there. I'm sure I'm sure there are a lot of different angles, but we also know from this look she had. What did she do? You Na know what in her hair? Naomi. What was in her she hair? It's, it's her, her name, name, Naomi. Yeah, Damn. she. I love this look from Naomi because she's still keeping her Trinity aesthetic. Like, yes, like, yes, she's always been the glow queen, but when she went to um, uh, TNA impact or whatever, oh. she, um, D, she did redo her, her um, body suits to have all these stars on them. And mm. I think it's like to seem like, like, she is a star, you know, because people always question that, you know, like she walked out of the company because she felt like she wasn't dis she was just dis disrespected as a big star. Yeah. And I love that she took that as like her her symbol while she was in TNA mm -hmm. and she brought it back here to WWE and yeah. she looks amazing, glowing everywhere. Like I said, she yes. actually just like on TNA, she had her name Trinity in her died in her weave, which guys is so hard. It long name. It is so hard to <laughs> dye a wig where with legible writing. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> and I'm glad she brought this aesthetic here. This is a ten. Yes. This is all of the things. Give her everything, Victoria. Dawson. Yes, I'm going to have to agree with you. This is signature Naomi, um, and I love the fact that she paid homage to her TNA run. I don't know, mm -hmm. like, what the future holds for her if she's like mm -hmm. completely with WWE or like doing a trade off sort of moment. I don't know. 
but like she's a star she she's wearing a star <laughs> and um yeah this is this is a hundred percent a toot from me <laughs> uh, uh-huh. yeah i have to agree i have to say though the one thing and it's a it's a toot it's a toot don't don't come for me but with the hair like i feel like her hair was really great for a photo shoot but in the middle of the rumble when it's all over the place <laughs> you're like okay we need someone needs to come in and like help with that a little bit <laughs> enough so that we can see the Naomi in Sorry, there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It. like that's my only thing but maybe she realized that during also it doesn't matter she's fighting in there she's a wrestler yeah. like mm. whatever you know she's there for business so um we'll give it you know we'll give it the two Yes, we will. To, I, we, to, we need a sound effect. Mari, what's the sound effect? I do not have a sound effect. I am sorry. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right, we're on to okay. the next one. And I thought this was an interesting look. We got Bobby Lashley mm -hmm. coming out to the ring. I don't even know how to describe it, but he had his little tights, his little tights on, his long <laughs> tights on. He's in, He's dressed in all white. Um, all white, yeah. And I don't really know how to describe the pattern on his clothing yeah what? yeah it's so it's, it's an all white champion colors like white and gold um mm -hmm. it, like it almost feels like it's almost like tiger stripes but it's not like it's all right the boots right. Mm, victoria yeah. the boots don't match that that but, outfit and you said the quiet part out loud <laughs> 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 um because they definitely do not match the outfit i am a big fan of white and gold as a color mm -hmm. combination um and i think those stripes are purple they look purple i in can't the picture, tell i, I yeah. can't tell either Just blind and to me that enhances it even more so the colors are doing it for me mm -hmm. i don't necessarily like i don't know what the stripes are or and they don't really have a purpose mm -hmm. in the look especially since i don't see it on the jacket it could be on the back no. right yeah not like sure um i huh. would have edited it Edited it, edited it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, but what do you edit? Is it like, is it like, okay. I would have like worn tan. the white boots. Yeah. White uh, and gold. Like white and gold mm -hmm. all throughout, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, Make a cohesive, like, purple design. So if it's going to be mm -hmm. stripes, make it like a cohesive stripe. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. Yeah. And do something to the back and maybe on the front or like a crisscross sort of moment. Yeah. And, um, mm. But I don't know, like, because Bobby Lashley, he's not really like a fashionista. Right, right, right. Really so not. Like, well, overall, yeah. this look fits fits him, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, if, if I edited this, it would be a completely different look. <laughs> That's what it felt like. It felt like the tights were the thing. Like, he's like, oh, I got my tights. My tights are the draw. And yeah. then he was like, oh, well, I need shoes and, yeah, let's throw <laughs> a vest shoes. on. Yeah. I'm only gonna have... <laughs> it's like, I'm just gonna have the, a vest on. You know, I'm not gonna have the vest on for that long. Really? It's just the walk to the ring. Best. Right. Yeah, so... Yeah, it, it, yeah. I'm sorry, Bobby. It's 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 a boot. It's it's a mm -hmm. no for me. You know, yeah. but it's okay. Mm. You still look good without it, huh. it all. You know. I mean, that's a that's a that's debatable. But you know, I will say that I'm very confused by specifically by his left kneecap because that to me, I'm staring at his left knee because it looks like. It's not like the Pac-Man ghost, but there's it looks like a ghost on his knee. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? His knee is tight. Yeah, I'm like, what is that? Yeah, That's interesting. Um, yeah. but yeah, I think it's a it's a boot for him. Mm -hmm. I wonder yeah. where he got that jet. Probably a Goodwill near you. So we'll <laughs> I love thrift shopping. Yeah, let's check I it. Up it wasn't. It, I'm so saying this was in Florida, right? So <laughs> maybe hey. he returned it. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully. Okay, Design let's see. I, I guess we I guess he this isn't a successful look by Bobby. And honestly, I really wasn't sure. Like, look, I like the white on white. Um, it just was a that's not really what we're getting here. Yeah, right. it's it's not egregious, it's not like assaulting no. my eyes or anything like that, but yeah. it's just like no. it, 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 it some better accessories. Yeah, 
Oh, that's sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next look because I don't really remember what order these are in. So let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, no. We're getting the up, it's up close Valhalla. Mari, are you okay? You seem terrified. <sighs> with the antlers, with the feathers, um, I, I with am the not black a fan. on the face. I'm not a fan. Yes. Like, I don't. Uh, with the dreads. <laughs> with the dreads. Uh. I have a question. What is, like, do we know the story? Uh, um, the story like, is her and her husband are like are Viking um impersonators. So it's like it's hmm. supposed to be like Viking Nordic lore or something like that. I don't know if any of our listeners know about actual Nordic thor- lore or Viking lore. Let us know. Does this represent you? Do you like this? Because I don't like this. <laughs> this <represents> I, <laughs> I am I, I am offended by this. Like I just don't. I she came down the ramp without shoes on. I hate when people walk around places without shoes on. Like, cover your feet, ma'am. Yeah, I didn't. I had to crop out her feet because um, no one wants to see that. Yeah, I'm trying to be nice today, uh, Victoria. <laughs> what do you think? Um, yeah. So I understand the character and what it's mm-hmm. going for, and I guess this is an accurate description or representation of it um however um i don't like it per se (laughs) um for you know just i mean there's black on the eyes like it's just in the locks and then the it's just it's it's a lot and um, It's quite a lot. And I understand <laughs> uh-huh. that this is like a reference. This is like a fashion point. Like, I get it. So oh. like, it's there. And like, yeah, like nobody's going to clock her for anything other than a Viking girl. Like, you know, <laughs> right. well, but I'll, I'll disagree because <laughs> I'm giving, she's giving like, uh, like, I, okay, I appreciate the practicality of this look because it What's has practical the feathers. about it? No, listen, like she blends in with e- like eagles with deer with elk yeah. with buck running around florida i mean you never I mean, know we have some of you those right I, we have deer okay. not in the deer. middle of uh what what arena <laughs> yeah. was this <laughs> what arena uh, was it <laughs> one of them um yeah. i mean but you know maybe she went came from hunting out in, yeah that's um, where she just got finished from you know they, her, they the hunting parts of florida yeah. And um, she, you know what? It makes sense. And you know what? It was practical. She didn't even have to really do much. So, yeah. But I, I mean, guess we're not a fan of this one. I don't, I mean, just overall, the aesthetic doesn't please me. I wouldn't wear it. But, but um, what about that smolder? That eye, the like, eye, she's con. serving. No, the, <laughs> she's giving menace down. Like, I. I'm intimidated by this picture. Like she's staring into my soul as we speak. Oh my you know, God. like I move this way, her eyes are following me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, this, me is this is disturbing. <laughs> but um, right. I don't know. Yeah, it's a no for me. Yeah. Now oh, here's an right. interesting one when we're getting mm-hmm. into interesting ones. And by the way, I have to say, what a travesty that wwe.com does not have all these pictures up um you know yeah, one little blurry. Saying, <laughs> i was say that was me in auntie mode with my phone taking a picture of me because so literally funny. nobody has a good clear picture of her look but this is Zelina vega and i don't even know i have to look up what this reference is that she was it going is- for but she had the wings on like a victoria's secret angel except out of like a cartoon, but does that do of you know the reference? An Overwatch, reference? yeah. I, I, yeah, sense. yeah, it's definitely a video game, game reference. She said who it was. I don't play that video game, so I think, um, Victoria's right. That sounds about right, like an Overwatch reference or, or something. She always does a reference. Um, mm-hmm. mm, I'm trying to see if I can find it. Yes. And I'm literally like seeing a, let me see. I am looking at a picture of this reference. I'll show the picture. I don't know who it is, but 
this picture. This oh is yeah, I think that's it. Oh, that's a te- that's Tekken. That's Tekken. Tekken. Okay. Yeah, that okay. I think. I think we're not go. sure. We should have probably looked this up. But yeah, anyway, he looks have. great. No. I don't know. I don't know if I get the reference. I don't like, get it. It looks a little bit far removed it's from cousin. the reference. Yeah. But I'm thinking that this Selena Vega look is giving very 2009 Kelly Kelly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with like the the you know the what do you call them chaps? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The are doing it. I do wonder about. Uh, look, I I kind of feel like the w- wings, especially just like seeing her wearing them and putting that on. Like to me, that was a serve, and mm-hmm. the way she took them off and all, like that was next level. Now I just have to say I do question why she wore them because she didn't even really get to wear them like down to the ring so much, or she didn't get to wear them in the ring, obviously, mm-hmm. but. I thought she was wearing a jetpack at first, <laughs> which would be really practical for the Royal Rumble. For the Royal like, imagine the Naomi spot. Just, the like, Rumble. just bring yeah. it in there and bam. Just bring bam. it in and swing around. <laughs> <Yeah, I know. laughs> she always does something like this, something big, you know. So it's it at this point, it's expected now. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, I love it. I think I think it's actually like. I think it's kind of like less than what she normally wears, actually, because minus the the like wing thing, she's just in like like Victoria said, like some bras yeah. and, and, and chaps. Like, what was it? Was it last year or the year before? Like, she was like decked out from like head to toe and and mm-hmm. like the Street Fighter. Yeah, I think it was like the like Street, street Fighter thing. Fighter, she I was in so, Street yeah. Fighter, yeah. So this is actually tame for her, but this still looks good. I like this too. Yeah, there we go. I agree. There we go. We approve. What is even mm-hmm. next here? But we approve, but I also feel like we're like, uh, okay. Yeah, Looking like we yeah, do, we do you know? a little bit more. Like, if mm-hmm. that's the reference that you showed me, like, this doesn't mm-hmm. really suit it. And I would have loved to have seen her come out in a dress. Like, Everybody. that would have been just everything. And then she rips off the dress and also, or she could have wrestled in it, I guess. I don't but. know. I mean, this, I need <laughs> someone to interview. I need someone to interview all of the wrestlers about what they're choosing to wear at the Rumble. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's see. What is next? I'm a little nervous. Still trying to make sure I know what. Oh, this is Andrade. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. And I have to say, I have to say up front, I don't even fully understand like all of the cultural references within Mm -hmm. it but the moment that he came out i was like yes like come on come on i mean Mm -hmm. i wish he didn't take it off but this is on like i would almost say an andrade signature like he has the mask on he has a bit of a crown and Mm -hmm. we did talk about the color palette which i'm curious for your thoughts on but we're getting like a little silver black and gold it's giving like original NXT but futuristic. Um, yeah. In a way. yeah. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Victoria, what do you think? Um, so right off the back, or uh, right off the bat, <laughs> it's giving you <laughs> side wax from Mortal Kombat. Oh. Side wax? Cyrax. Cyrax. Oh, Cyrax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it just nice. looks cool and um kind of otherworldly like it's a very great look and i remember watching it and being completely blown away not only by the fact that he was just like he was there but also that this is awesome like you look amazing yeah so this is this is everything for me and um black and gold that's Mm -hmm. my school school mascot colors ucf go nice yeah Oh, yeah. awesome. there we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I this is amazing. Like this, I mean, immediately this felt like okay, they're they're like pushing him. This is this is for lack of a better word, high drag. Um, mm-hmm. the black skull mask is just adds such a um a, a terrifying point to all this like i can't wait to see what andrade does now that he's yeah. back and it was yeah. so cute seeing him getting ready in the back with charlotte there's like a video uh, of charlotte like um helping him like tan down and get ready in the back and they're just yeah. together i got it that's I awesome yeah, yeah. That, 
those are the precious moments I feel like yeah getting ready backstage so I don't know stop yeah <laughs> I'll also point out like for the for the um for the men's rumble like these they put in very little effort, these men. Like they, they really, really don't put in effort for the rumble. So I just think a, extra bonus points to Andrade for this one for sure. Yes, absolutely. I love everything head mm-hmm. to toe. And it makes him like larger than life. Like it looks like a superstar. Like this person, like you know, he's coming to mess stuff up. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I know, I, and I will say, I apologize for not getting the Thyrax reference. I'm seeing it. I'm getting Cyrax. it. I, it is Cyrax. Th- Cyrax. This is Cyrax? Like Cyrax. No, Cyrax. Like Cyborg. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to keep, keep moving. But Cyrax. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, here's another look that's more a basic look, but I think that it was hard oh, to capture mm-hmm. this. Um, Grayson Waller in gold, <laughs> gold and purple, and he mm-hmm. had his little vest yeah. on. A very much a fan fav or a favorite of these wrestlers, I would say. Like Bobby Lashley also had his little vest on, trying mm-hmm. to show muscles. But I think I feel like the highlight for me for Grayson was these um short, like but like these just short the shorts. The shorts. They were yeah. I don't know what to. I don't even know. I don't so, know. So so Grayson Waller's uh look. It seems to be like inspired by. The Lakers. It looks like yes. it's almost look like basketball, and I'm yes. assuming mm-hmm. it is inspired by Kobe because um, the Rumble was, I believe, the Rumble was like the day after the anniversary of Co- of Kobe's oh passing. Gosh. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I immediately clocked this. I was like I, th- I was like I think this is like a Lakers Lakers jersey, like an old school Lakers jersey in- inspiration reference. Um, and I like Grayson Waller. I think I, I think he's a great like heel, and I, I like this. I, I mean, it was it, it wasn't as basic as some of the other men, like yes. like Matt said. It matches the vest and the and the shorts match on like Bobby Lashley's, <laughs> and you know it, it's minimal. So it's like Simple. it's like you know it works. Yeah, there's nothing really to critique here. The colors mm-hmm. are nice. Like it goes together wow like he looks like a bro dude yep <laughs> you know? matches the character like, and that's definitely who grayson waller is you know what i mean mm-hmm. so yeah um yeah this this works and he's a good looking guy <laughs> I will say, as as he came out like one thing i really noticed in looking at this his arms were very oiled up like and it oiled up enough to where it was notable. Like we watch wrestling all the time. Yeah, I was like, those are some oily arms. He so, trying to make sure you stay in there. He was. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Like a bull move. He was number three, right? He was number three oh, after the Uso. yes. So yes, everybody paid him like absolute dust because everybody was so excited for like the one and two of the Usos. Then he came out. It was like, why is Grayson Waller here? And then Andrade comes out looking like how he did. It was so funny i I, he, felt bad for I know and he came i like i even noticed it grayson came out in the bailey spot in number three and mm-hmm. it didn't work out as well for him but <laughs> no, no. he tried he had his references and i'm happy yeah. i'm happy yeah. for him he had he a moment his chance to do his thing you see he's on the mic he yeah he, we all knew he wasn't winning or anything right <laughs> But it it's happens. nice to see. Oh yeah, that would be good. One year, I just one year, I need something like that to happen. Just to I would love. Wild. I would love to see that because the unpredictability all- factor. This mm-hmm. is where it makes the most sense because anybody can win it, right? We all I mean, say that, and then we get Otis winning Money in the Bank, and everybody's okay. Like, but what? that's different. <laughs> but I got that. I thought he deserved that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't AJ then he put- didn't even? <laughs> He didn't, he, didn't, up, he didn't climb he the ladder. Uh, Let's yeah. not drag Otis right now. <laughs> Love Otis. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Jade Cargill uh, in her Renaissance <laughs> look. Lady. What are you talking about? Okay. But first of all, 
beyond her out her beyond her like actual look the body it's say, the body specifically <laughs> though those abs are like what the hell how did you eat where did you buy those like did you get oh ab implants <laughs> what how did all, you those get are those? All natural and she is i wish i wish i was bricked up like that Jay Cargill looked amazing. I thought yeah. she, had, we all talked about, she had like the great, like a really great pop at the Rumble. She's rocking her like silver and white yeah. two piece here. You know, the storm is coming. She mm. is here. She looks amazing. The body of the season is here. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I love Jay. She looks great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. This amazing expensive luxurious yes. like yes. that's what this is giving like Opulence. very powerful <laughs> i personally would have loved <laughs> honestly for this to be like a choker collar moment oh mm, yeah mm, mm -hmm. with arm gauntlets to match Ooh. so like if you're thinking very Storm. like superhero kind mm. of like goddess silver yeah. goddess moment like that's that would have done it for me. Yeah. I don't know how practical that is to wrestle in. Right. <laughs> but like yeah. what I would have paired it with. But no, other than you, that, like she's are those yeah. pearls? Victoria, are those pearls those look, look like pearls around her neck to you? Um, I can't tell. I don't even know. I can't tell. Matt, enhance. Enhance. No, <laughs> I can zoom my face in, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> they either look like pearls or like just like pearls. A silver, like diamond necklace. I was, which, you know, <laughs> I was thinking maybe pearls, you know, as a nod to her aka sisters, maybe. Yeah. Um, okay, if mm -hmm. it's significant, then you know, sure, mm -hmm. we'll leave yeah. it. But, you know, Let's I don't have, have to see. On. Let's some wrist things just to. Wow, you know what? Right, it is interesting. Top two of the night so far. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Did I tell you? I I gagged so hard when I saw her enter, and I didn't recognize okay. the theme at first, but I saw right. all the effects, mm. and so I knew who it was. I was like, oh, "Are you kidding? They're gonna bring oh. her out?" And then you know, my and I, I thought Sasha was coming back too. So I know. Oh, this yeah. was a whole yeah. time too. So yeah. I was like, oh, they're gonna have a face off with mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I think that um, I think also the best part about this is like you know they're gonna enhance those uh for lack of better words, uh those effects like as she makes more and more appearances. So yeah. like I I think that you know that was good for the rumble, but I could definitely see them um up in her music, like yeah. they do that 3D art stuff, like yeah. Oh yeah, yeah she's getting. I think it's just gonna that. get better. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah. It, it is fascinating though. Um, like her her look is so expensive and so phenomenal, but also it is really minimalist mm -hmm. in a way. Like without the gauntlets on the arms, without even <laughs> gloves, without a cape, without. And I'm just wondering what a WrestleMania look looks like for her. But I hope she always mm. sticks with the silver and white. I just need her to stick with that. Yeah. And not not go with red, not go with blue, just like stick with it. Also, but she did, but she did have some amazing looks in um in AEW, like she did. just mm -hmm. different cosplay references. Yeah. Too. So her we'll get Jade there, sure. Mortal Kombat, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Victoria, do you know is that a lace? I I don't I don't know. I'm not good at wigs, but I I don't know if ah! it just looks good. I like I don't know. Oh, I hear it's it looks I can't I, exactly. It. It's like I can't like one way or the other. Yeah, it looks oh, expensive. Uh, it does. That's what I'm that thinking. Color, it would yeah. need to be. I don't know. I don't know because that's a hard color to even find. Exactly. Get done. So the color is it. the only reason why I would think it's a wig. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like mm. other than that, yeah. out of a scout. Yeah. I like how she knows <laughs> she knows her look. Like she has a very distinct look. She, mm -hmm. A storm is coming. It's mm -hmm. giving yeah. storm. It always yeah. will give storm. I like that. Like stick yeah, stay like in that lane, thing. please. Definitely. Yeah. I would you. love to see her do like a mohawk, like a silver white like mm. mohawk Ooh. moment, mm -hmm. like something big. And mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell Just her. Really Let her know. It. Oh, Jay. She has I... time until mania. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. 
Yeah, so. that would be everything. Let's see. We have three more to go. Mm-hmm. What is next? Oh, okay, Becky oh, Lynch. The so man, Becky, Becky Lynch, Lynch. What are our thoughts on this? And this is like the most stunning. I think this has to be the most stunning picture <laughs> in itself. Like <laughs> WWE photographer said, we need to capture Becky glamour <laughs> shots as she walks out. <laughs> You know what? Shout out to at DTF Mania on, on Twitter. She normally has the like best like photography shots of like mm. the um the stars coming out. I should have I should have sent you her Twitter because I bet you she got like 20 oh, photos so. much better than this. But I yeah, so. I think I I I do like this picture of like Becky like being determined, just like her hair color is fi- oh my god. I love that they're bringing in more red. To yeah. the orange now, mm-hmm. I love that. I think this look is like I think it's pretty okay. I don't think it's like it, it doesn't feel as like stamped and like her signature as like her normal like you know she used to have the black and yellow mo- motif going on mm-hmm. like the the Kill Bill Bride t- type of mo- motif. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out. I don't know what that that what that if that's a pattern or a fabric that's interwoven between the the mesh and in the mesh with the with the fishnets it's it's like i don't know help me out here victoria yeah it's 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 not balanced yeah it's not balanced and um yeah the it looks like flames which mm-hmm. that's what I thought. Like I maybe guess, blue but fire? It has blue in it, which doesn't really right. make much sense. I love her hair and makeup. It is yes. very oh cold, God, it's very dynamic. And mm-hmm. honestly, like that's the star of the the whole it ensemble. Is. Like yeah. just her face. I would love to see more of that color in the outfit. Mm-hmm. Like just make yeah. everything bright. But that's me, you know. Uh-oh. Yeah, it does look I like know. a blue flame. Right, Matt? Yeah. Like a blue frame? I get it. Yeah. It, it works. I mean, I get it because it's Becky Lynch and she's going to have her flames and be, you know, like, but I've seen better looks from her. Agreed. I mean, looks. honestly. Yeah. Like, so this she has some great good. looks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just, it's just she didn't top herself. That's the only, yeah. that's Whoa. the only problem with this. Really, Matt? <laughs> I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I love look. I think it's it's fascinating. And Becky is like this is they someone someone I don't know who helped her with this. But I'm proud of her for this. This is a great look. It's get it's just like it's such a badass look yeah, and that's what Becky is going for. Yeah, that's what like she's badass. giving overall. I don't know where the wind machine is for her hair, but <laughs> It is she kind of Beyonce, iconic in a way. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's yeah, I, I, I think it's, yeah, I think it's too. I think it's good. It's you a know. soft too. Yeah. Soft. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But I've seen it better, so yeah. you know. Like. Mm-hmm. Well, we have, we have two more. Okay. 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 Liv Morgan, <laughs> and I have to say, I have to say, so there's like the the wide, slightly wider shots of this, but it was the Christina Aguilera reference. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. The mini skirt, and on mm-hmm. her, I just realized today that on her like chest it says, um, "Try oh, cry about it." Cry, cry about it. Try what? Cry about it. Which yeah. I could not read the night of. But yes, I couldn't um, read it the night of either. But yeah, this this works for me. Sorry, L- live. No, you get live coming through with the ex Tina reference mm-hmm. as always. Um, dirty. This is amazing. I I I love this look for her. I love that she's always on point with her references. Like yeah. on point. This is like you put the side by side. It's immaculate. Uh, she did great in the rubble. Like I said, the, the only thing is it sucked for her. I think it sucked for her for coming out at 30 because mm. there are so many people that could have came out at 30, but I think she was still like in that list yeah. of like, yeah, good. You know what I'm saying? She's, like she right. she wasn't Ray Mysterio who got booed. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, like, that's disrespectful. <laughs> like they, they weren't going to boo her. 
No, that's what but I'm saying. Like she, she knew. it wasn't she like know. when everybody thought what was it like Daniel Bryan was coming out and Rey Mysterio came out at 30 and <laughs> even he got booed because yeah, yeah, I did hear some names circulating about who was going to be number 30. I heard AJ Lee. I heard Lee, Sasha yeah. Banks. Right, yeah. um, so she was in my third spot of that too. So I wasn't shocked when she came out. So I, yeah. this doesn't surprise me that Liv was 30. It makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. And I do think like she's a credible number 30. If even if, if, if that exactly. even makes sense, because like who cares? Mm-hmm. Like, who cares? <laughs> I mean, but yeah, like I think, yeah, this is great. And the look is phenomenal. It's giving me Ashley, Ashley Massaro oh, yeah. vibes for oh, sure. Yeah, that's um, right. And yeah, obvious reference to Christina Aguilera. This this works and I love this style. I love the skirt moment, you know. Mm-hmm. I think it's cute. I like it when people wrestle in skirts. It's great, it's yeah. Great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so I also cute. for I forgot that um Liv was out for an injury she was out for a long time yeah 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 but you can't shoulder see. injury i believe it was oh yeah that sounds about right you yeah can't, can't keep live morgan down and remember like her performance in the last rumble almost i mean look at her mm-hmm. she has to win a rumble one of these days i feel yeah, like right? talk about yeah. Yeah. Her for her talk sometime about mm-hmm. yeah she's so good Oh, I love is love is perfect. She is everything. Such yes, such a hard worker. So talented. Always willing to like do nude stuff and mix mm-hmm. it up. I heard she's really sweet, like as a person. Same. So. Yeah. Not a bad well, word. We have our last look. Uh-oh. It's so sad. I'm nervous. <laughs> I really don't remember who it is. What is it? Oh, okay. Let's be green. Chelsea. Chelsea Green, who is the only person who got a backstage backstage pose. I don't know. <laughs> maybe she found a nice gray wall and posed in front yeah. of it. But here she is. Uh, there, could, look, Victoria, do you want to just explain all of the elements here? Because there's a lot going on. Yes. So, uh, Chelsea, hat. Chelsea Green <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, is serving full Foxy realness. Um, mm-hmm. with the the hat, but like I'll give it to her since you know, like Chelsea's doing the thing, like I get it. Wonderful. It makes sense. It works. <laughs> queer, queer representation here. I don't think Chelsea is queer, but I know she's an ally. Mm-hmm. And I think yeah. that was really important, like for her and why she decided to go for this look. So that to me in itself just gives me everything. She Looks so fashionable. I love mm-hmm. this. I honestly wish she would have kept that train on for longer, like when longer. she was walking mm-hmm. down the ramp, mm-hmm. so more people could see it. Because, mm-hmm. like, it was obvious she wanted to make a statement. I don't necessarily know, you know, if, if what I, I don't know, because I got it and I appreciated it, but yeah. like, it could have been more of a moment. And, yeah. Um, Michael Cole, I think it was, on commentary was like, oh, a unique outfit, like, or whatever, from, like, Chelsea Green. I was like, they just can't say the words, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, this is definitely, she said, yep. for the days. With yeah. 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 Yep. Uh, the the rainbow flag as a train. I wonder if everybody just told him like, if you have to, stuff to deposit, you got to do it close to the ramp so we can go and grab it. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that is it because it was it was quite a quite a distance. Yeah. They were like, yeah. don't you dare wow. go That's more than point. three feet away from this opening because <laughs> we got to send somebody out to get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, good I agree. Uh, her doing this in Florida, where you know the don't say uh, don't say gay bills are happening, yeah. trans rights are being attacked, all of this, and she uh, she did do an interview. Oh my God, I'm blanking right now, but she's no. There was one I saw with Steve Fall, who's yes. one of the people out there. Yeah, um, I think he might follow us. Shout out to him. Shout out to um, him. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, she was just talking about like she, I don't know uh, if everybody got it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if everybody got it, but I know like with the social media activity and attention, like then people yeah. will hopefully get people it. People will and, get it, right? Um, exactly. So just gorgeous, and I, I mean beyond like 
beyond the pride flag train like she also has she just has like this gorgeous like rhinestone flower like, hat with the guy. cg on it mm-hmm. um and yeah and even just like the the main body of her outfit is like just the trans color trans yeah. pride colors too which i'm and like there's still some rainbows in there too so i'm just like girl i don't look you just wear this every week where is every day? Yes. Daily. It, it all me. works for me. And it is okay. a lot going on for sure. But like, yeah. it all just works together beautifully. I think it's so cute. And I was very happy to see this. And um, I love her. I want her to be champion. Like she, all of the She's champions. amazing. We have every championship ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I must say, there was something I saw too. Someone posted about her. Another, the former Persia Parada, who was like mm-hmm. Amy oh. Hartwell's best friend yeah, in NXT and all, posted about how generous Chelsea is. Just like how when, when Persia was released, Indy reached out to Chelsea and Chelsea was giving like gear designers, giving all like the resources, just selflessly giving, giving, giving when, Mm -hmm. um, as Persia said, so many people are gatekeeping. So Mm. we love her. We love her. It's nice that she's so sick as successful as she is. Give her the win next year though. Yeah. Give her all of the things. Mm -hmm. And, um, Mm -hmm. But I hope, I hope to see her being built up as more credible at this point because mm-hmm. she's taken a lot of losses and I get like her character isn't, mm-hmm. you know, but like, I know, like, it could easily like be like a rabbit hole, like something where, you know, she doesn't look credible anymore. Yeah, you know? and, I like, get that. I don't know. But she also is just so good at comedy. Yeah. And I, I yeah. love I loved her time in the Rumble. Like she, to me, was a highlight of the Rumble. Her selling, her getting hit by accident so many times. Yeah. <laughs> the plaything of the big, the big girls was just <laughs> absolutely yeah. amazing. And honestly, if you can't like get, you, you can't be in the top spot. You want to make your mark. You want people to remember you doing it, and you want to do it well. Yeah. And I think. That's what she's doing. Whenever they give her the spotlight, she takes it. And mm-hmm. I hate that they don't give it to her often. I think that's mm-hmm. the biggest problem. And I agree with yeah. you on that, Victoria. Like, I just yeah. want them to give her the spotlight more and more and more because she she has it. And that's coming from somebody who, like, years ago was like, nah, I don't get the Chelsea Green thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. She's definitely but, yeah. impressed me. And I get her so much now. Mm-hmm. I get her. Mm-hmm. Yep. I have to say, just another note, like, I'm so glad her wrists are holding up these days. Me? Like, damn. Yeah. Could you, that was a mess back oh. in the day. Just left Man. and literally, probably literally left and right, just breaking <laughs> and injuring her wrist. But <laughs> she's she's at it. Oh, my gosh. And she's mm-hmm. made her mark and she keeps making it. So yes. there yeah. we go. What a note to go out on. Wow. We did it. That was amazing. Yes. That was so much fun. That was so I, much fun. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now you do? <sighs> now we got to do the outro. Uh, oh, again. damn. No. No, that's You're it. You're having it's, fun. I know, but it's time yeah. to go. I know. Uh, again, okay. if you're if you're listening uh, and you got this far, I don't know. Go back and watch because again, we <laughs> we've had so much fun looking at these pictures and yeah. talking about everybody. Um, Victoria, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we really love having you on as a guest. Every time we can we can get a hold of you. Uh, oh. <laughs> plug yourself. Where where can the people find you? What are you doing? Plug your shows. All of the things. Yes, yeah. definitely. Uh, well, first off, thank you so much for having me. It's always mm-hmm. a pleasure. I love mm-hmm. coming on here. You know, mm-hmm. um, and me personally. So every Wednesday or um, currently most Wednesdays because we have a break in like a few spots but um mm-hmm. primarily Wednesdays uh I'm doing Orlando Drag Race Live All Stars so Ooh. I'm back in competition mode that's yeah. right yeah, oh, I'm yeah. back in competition Thank mode you. we just had our second week um like on this past Wednesday um I won the first week so okay. you know already like front runner competition style okay. 
kind of, of vibes, you know. Uh, not so sh- I just shocked at all. Not shocked at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just mm-hmm. looking forward to winning the crown and showing people like how much I've evolved and grown in my drag. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited, and there are no eliminations, so I get to literally showcase all my. Oh, work. And wow. at the end of the day, whoever gets the most points wins the crown. So that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, but yeah, you can still catch me every Thursday in Sanford uh, at Mannequins Lounge. It's part of Treehouse. We do two drag shows mm-hmm. um, every Thursday night at 10 and 11 p.m. Um, so yeah, that's that's me. And um, I'm ex Victoria Cage X on like Instagram and X and all that stuff. Look, awesome. please, please get get all those points, get those legendary legend stars, whatever yeah. they're getting. Yes. And, um, <laughs> I'm oh, a- and I'm selling merch, by the way. And this is what I'm Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, my God. I yeah. love fans. Um, yeah. Do, so, is there you have a website? Yeah. Your, your website? Um, okay, so uh, Niji fans and I J I F A N S dot com. You can find gotcha. uh, all the Ooh. all the fans there. So we'll put it in the show <laughs> notes. We'll put in the show notes for everybody who wants to grab a fan from. We will. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. There we go. And um, I, I'm yeah. Matt Scotchy W yeah. on the platforms. I'm a fan of Victoria uh, Mother and Cage, mm-hmm. and I am also uh, a fan of wrestling, so you can find me here on the Wrestling or Hap Up. You can find me on Pod Friends, interviewing people in the Rob as a Podcast Network community. So many great episodes continue to come out um, over the next few weeks. I have a few more in this season, so subscribe to that wherever you get your podcasts. Just search for Pod Friends. That's two words pod friends um and rob has a website.com slash pod friends feed is where you can find it um but again matt scotchy w to see what i'm up to and well mari where could the people find you you've been up to some exciting iconic iconetry yes i have other than being with you every every week here over the on the That's wrestling wrap up yes uh <laughs> every tuesday me and sarah Carradine are bringing true crime tuesdays to rhap over on the crime scene podcast uh this past week we dropped a wonderful episode with jason reed where we discussed american nightmare it's a oh, docuseries. Oh, sorry, I made that joke last week. Cody Rhodes. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> that, that's... <laughs> on Netflix. I, yeah, we literally one of our points of this, the discussion was like, they didn't need this name. Like, this name didn't make sense with the overall case. Like, they could have definitely named it better. Um, mm-hmm. But go check that out by going to robhasawebsite.com slash, slash crime feed. I was also just on the outbid, outpay, out... Um, Outbid, outpay, outdraft, outdraft. There it is. There you go with Mike Bloom, <laughs> the final, um, the the final uh, survivor uh, preseason um, podcast that we did, where we were bidding on zero vote finalists. So we had money. We were bidding and drafting zero vote finalists. I had such an amazing time. It was fun, fun, fun. So definitely go check that out on the uh, Rob Has a Podcast YouTube page, youtube.com slash Rob Has a Podcast. It was amazing. And then also uh, the recap kickback is officially in full swing. Um, my brother Chappelle has his own network now. They done gave him mm-hmm. the keys to the car. And <laughs> <laughs> all Black History Month, me and him will be um, discussing and debating the top five black uh, classic Black movie uh, categories. So this week we did uh, Black biopics. I, yeah, I see. I say biopic. Like some people say biopic, biopic. biopic. Say, I don't. Yeah, know. it's so weird, it's right? The same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So we um we <laughs> we sat down. We took surveys. Uh, we we took surveys from people uh, about what they think their top uh, five black biopics were. We then debated uh, the Why result. Hidden it was wasn't so one. fun. Yes. Disrespectful. It was, it was so fun. So you can go to recap kickback. That's recap K I C K B A C K dot com in order to subscribe. Uh, Chappelle is also working on a whole bunch of other amazing content mm-hmm. there. So if you're a fan of Chappelle, if you're a fan of me, if you're a fan of 
anything black, black and black, especially during Black History Month, definitely go check out the recap. Uh, the recap. Kit. Yeah, yeah. Like stick around past Black History Month, please. You know. Just <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Please do. Um, uh, that's it for me. Of course, here on the Wrestling Wrap Up, you could uh, reach out to us on Twitter at Wrestling Wrap Up. That's at Wrestling R H A P U P. Um, you can also find us on our f- official, unofficial Facebook page, uh, The Job Has a Squadcast Facebook page. Uh, let us know if you want in. We'll hook you up. Uh, you can reach wow. out to e- either me or Matt on um, Twitter, Matt at Matt Scott DW, me at Mari Talks Too Much, too like the number two on yeah. Twitter. Um, and, of course, you can also... This is actually the perfect time to sign up for the RHAP Patreon. Oh, damn, it, really? It is. It is. Anytime's a good time, but this is a great time. Uh, oh. it is, it's a, we're about to go into a season of Survivor. Australian Survivor is happening right now. Traders UK is happening right now. Regular Traders is happening right now. Everything, some good stuff is going on. And if you're a patron, you get first dibs on maybe a live show is coming up pretty soon. Maybe that's about to be announced. We'll see. So you want to be a patron so you can learn here first. Go to patreon.com slash RHAP, become a patron, and get access to so many exclusive podcasts, deals, announcements, merch, all that great stuff. All right. For me, Matt, and Victoria, thank you uh, for, uh, you know, judging some people's looks today (laughs) Uh, remember wrestling is for everybody but not all wrestling is for everyone we'll see y'all next week bye Bye. come up lay it down just like matt amari wrestling liver half up's gonna make it sorry Feeling like the rock, cause I'm driving in Ferraris. And we coming every week, and it's feeling like a party. Mula Rick Flair, huh? Showing out like Bianca Belair, huh? Best podcast, flush it in the air, huh? From the rings, and we win it, don't care, huh? No cap. Throw them up, lay it down, just like Matt Amari. Wrestling over half up's gonna make it sorry. Feeling like the rock, cause I'm driving in Ferraris. And we coming every week, and it's feeling like a party. <laughs>